Welcome back everybody. Now in the last video we created this very simple workstation here with a uh, single robot arm, a table, a box on the table, and a controller sitting off in the back watching. Now we're going to now demonstrate how to jog the robot either by joint by joint or by, um, by linear. And this is a great way to see if your robot can reach all the areas that you want to reach on your actual workpiece. So the easiest way to, or the easy way to uh, jog the robot is in the home menu, move to the group called freehand group and choose the jog joint. The jog joint right here. Once you have the jog joint chosen, you can choose any joint you want and rotate it. So you can see here I can, I can rotate joint six, I can rotate joint seven, rotate joint three, joint two, Joint one, you can move it all around and uh, and see all the different positions the robot can be in. And you've got to be careful because the robot will now right, go right through the part itself. It's just a it's just a geometry, so it doesn't actually show up as a solid model yet. Okay, now uh, I, we can we can also jog this robot by um, by a linear jogging. But before we do that, let's put the robot back to its natural position. So if you choose the actual robot in the layout menu on the left side, right click on it, and then just say jump home, then the robot will choose a natural posture. So jump home is a great way for the robot to be sent back. Now, to jog linearly, you choose the jog linear button on the freehand menu, freehand grouping. And now your robot will move all of its joints to maintain the tool in the X, the Y, and the Z position. All right. You can see it actually moving up and down. And you'll also notice, since you've actually chosen snap end right here, when your robot moves close to the workpiece, it will actually try to snap to the corners, the ends of the various parts of that box. All right. So if you find your robot doing some of that, you might want to turn this off and then you can move your robot anywhere you want. Right? But it certainly seems like this robot has capacity to reach everywhere on the top of that workpiece. Uh, so there's going to be no problem with reachability. Now I'm just going to get let the robot go back to its home. So we'll just jump home again. So the robot's up. The third thing you might want to try doing is to reorient the tool on the robot. You see the robot, when I jogged it linearly, uh, the tool maintained itself at the same posture, no matter which angle you stuck it at. Uh, it was always at that, that same posture you see right here. If you want to change the posture, you would go to reorient tool. And now you can change that tool angle to be whatever you want to have. There's, I can rotate it on the, uh, the y-axis, I can rotate it on the z-axis. Okay, and notice if you rotate it too far, the robot can't reach and it'll actually physically stop. And I can rotate it on the x-axis. Okay, now it's very important when you're working with these robots that you start to understand that they are not, they're not like the tentacles of an octopus. They, they can't reach everywhere, but they can, they can reach quite a few interesting places. So you have to make sure that your robot is able to reach all of the elements that it wants to reach at. Now I've noticed that my ABB, uh, this joint right here, is probably upside down. So I'm going to go back to uh, the joint jog and see if I can rotate that back to a vertical position like that. Okay, there we go. All right, so go ahead and experiment with your robot and, and repositioning it using both the joint jog and the linear jog. And in the next video, we're actually going to create a workpiece off this little box right here. And we're going to uh, set up some targets on it for the robot to move through.